Hello and welcome to Mobile Testing YouTube channel. This is the part 2 of AWS Device Farm with Python series. Uh, if you haven't watched the part 1, I have pasted the URL in the video description. Please check it out. Then proceed with this video. So let's get started. So I have my AWS Device Farm account logged in you can go you can go to the device farm by clicking on services then choosing device farm once you do that you will land on this page let us give the project name as ios test and click on create project uh, the first thing you have to do is click on create a new run then since we are testing the iPhone application let's click on this and choose upload button now you have to upload your uh, IPA file for that I, I have it in my local let me open it up desktop iOS so this is my IPA file click on open button wait for a few minutes for the upload process to complete once that is done the run name will be auto filled N then click on next step so here you have to choose apm python then click on the upload button uh, so now we should uh, upload the test bundle file here test underscore bundle dot zip click on open button again wait for a few seconds for the upload process to complete if there is any error with your test underscore bundle dot zip file it will be shown over here since our test underscore zip file is built the right way it didn't show any error so let's click on next uh, as you can see in the desired capabilities I have given the platform version as 10.3 but here you you have to I mean all the devices you see is 8.3 8.4 version so we have to create a new device pool let's click on it let me search for 10.3.3 and I am looking for iPhone 7 so here it is then you have to give a name for the device pool so i have given it as iphone 7 then click on save device pool once you do that you can see a tick mark over here and it says 100 percent compatibility uh, click on next step here you i mean you can just skip this step and click on next step again uh, so I since I have only one test case I'm reading it reducing it to uh, five minutes let me click on confirm and start run once you do that you can see your test is about to start and it is listed here so this icon means the test case has started and it is executing in the AWS device farm I'll pass the video for a few seconds then come back once the test results are here uh, the test results are there I'll show you the test result it says like uh, congratulations all tests passed on this on all devices uh, let us see the test results so one good thing with the device form is that after the execution is completed it will give you a video short video of the entire test case so as you can see here uh, first the web driver will launch yeah, so the web driver runner is launching then our test app launches and 
it, it passed so it's so quick um, that you can't see the result uh, since I haven't added any sleep over there you can see uh, the test test sample app.py passed and this will also give you the logs you can download it over here uh, if you want only apm python output you can download that also if you click on it it will give you a text file similarly you can get the apm server output and when you scroll down you can see the actual screenshots of this device in the aws device form of each step so first the app launched then uh, the values which got entered and compute sum gave 0 plus 6 is 6 yeah that's about it in next video we'll see how to set up the test script for uh, android and thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel